Welcome back, everybody. We are raising Oklahoma this morning, and this time we're doing it with Carrie Williams from Rainbow Fleet. Hi, Carrie. Hey, Hello. Carrie. She is the executive director, and of course, she also is about ready to. She's yes. what, six and a half months six along. Six and a half months. Oh. She's such a trooper. We I love know. having her here. <laughs> but we're going to talk about emergency storm preparedness and how we can help severe weather season be less traumatic for our kids. I need That's this right. too, yeah. by the way. And shall be. Yes. <laughs> I, so what are we going to be working on today? Is it craft to kind of well, help kids? Well, this is actually to teach kids about how rain forms. Okay. And so it's just a very simple, easy project that you can do. Um, all you need is water, food coloring, um, shaving cream, and an eyedropper. Sounds so, easy. Very easy. Basically, the water represents your atmosphere. Mm -hmm. The shaving cream is your cloud, so you just want to fill it up. Whoops, maybe I'll <laughs> shake it up first. <laughs> shake it up and then fill it up. It's good. There we Come go. Come on, shaving cream. There, there we go. go. So then your shaving cream is your clouds. Okay. Okay. That looks fun. I know it yeah. does. <laughs> so, um, of course, you know what's going to happen. One. Hey, sister. Hey, uh, brother. Exactly. That's true. Oh, well, exactly. that's part of the fun. So here's your clouds, here's your atmosphere, and then the different colored water represents the, the rain. So you teach them about how when moisture fills up the clouds um, and then it gets too heavy, it has to come down. So you just do different colors. Mm -hmm. Fill up the dropper. You can right? just fill up the dropper and drop it in, and the more water that gets in there, and then it eventually goes down. Eventually oh, goes down. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look at it. See that? This is like a little science experience. This is also, you know, this is this is uh, educational. It is educational. Well. So you're teaching kids about rain, helping them be less intimidated by the process. That is a good. Now talk to so us about fun. that. You know, how important, if, you know, if they understand what's going on with that's the weather, right. does it make it less? Yeah. So being prepared is the key to not panicking, and that's what you know the weathermen always tell mm -hmm. us. Yes. Um, so we have to do that with kids too, and child care providers, and that's where Rainbow Fleet can really help. I'm so, I well, you should see how pretty it is. It is oh, beautiful. That's a um, great idea. What a fun project. Yeah. So, what we do at Rainbow Fleet is to help child care providers be prepared in those emergency situations, in tornado, in fire, um, evacuation drills. If there's an active shooter, having those child care providers be prepared mm -hmm. is the key to having them not panic and keeping our kids safe. And we can take those things from what you teach the child care Absolutely. providers into our homes Absolutely. and do the same. Yep. as well. Yep, so we teach child care providers um, and parents too, we've got this available on our website, um, what to keep in your emergency kit. Mm. Um, so if you do have to make a run to the shelter, you need to have a whistle, you need to have a flashlight, you need to have snacks. Um, if you're a child care provider and you've got young children, you need diapers. Yes. Um, you know, all those things that you need to have. Um, helmets for kids, yep. which mm -hmm. if you don't have a bicycle helmet, then you can get one from safekids.org. Um, you know, lots of different things that you need to have. We have all of that information on our website. Preparedness is key. That's right. Well, if you need any help when it comes to child care and parenting, Rainbow Fleet, always there to help. The number in OKC, 405-525-3111, and they will be back next week. They'll have more expert advice for parents who are raising Oklahoma. They also have a number for those who speak Spanish, it's 405-525-8783. Thank you. Great tips as always. Here at 330 West Memorial Road, David